Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Agricare Ace. Yes. In this video, we are going to discuss about arrangement of floral organs like sepal, petals, androsium, and gynosium in a flower. So let's start this video. So there are different types of arrangement of floral organs in a flower. It may be present in a whorl form. Whorl form it generally represent in a uh, concentric patterns. And the next one is the spiral pattern. So the different four different uh, floral appendages it may be arranged in a concentric form or whorl form or the other one is the spiral one spiral form so these are two types of different arrangements in which the floral organs are arranged and this is known as arrangement of floral organs so based on the arrangement of floral organs these may be divided into three types the first one is cyclic Third, second one is acyclic and the third one is pyroacyclic. So let's discuss about the cyclic arrangement of floral organs. So in cyclic arrangement of floral organs, what happens is the floral parts that means the calyx, corolla and the androsium and the gynosium, they are arranged in definite walls. Definite walls that means they are arranged in concentric patterns like this so arrangement is like this calyx corolla and osium and then in the center is the gynosium and this we can see in this brassica and solanum flowers we will find cycling arrangement of floral organs you can see in this picture this one is a brassica flower consisting of cycling arrangement of floral organs next Moving on to acyclic arrangement of floral organs. What happens in this is the floral parts are arranged in spiral and not in whorls. That means all the floral parts are arranged in a spiral form like this. That means these are arranged in like this is calyx, corolla and androsium, gynosium at the center. We can see this in magnolia flowers. This is a magnolia flowers in which you can find acyclic arrangement of floral organs. So next, moving on to spirocyclic arrangement of floral organs. What happens in this is some of the floral parts they are arranged in whorl form. That means some of the floral parts they are arranged in concentric forms like this and the others form the spiral like this in the center so it is also called as half cyclic so what actually happens this is uh, in the rose flower you can see that that the uh, calyx they are present in whorl form but inside the other floral parts they are arranged in spiral form spiral form like this so the best example is rose and ranunculus so i hope so by this video you will be knowing the arrangement of floral organs as cyclic acyclic and the last one is pyrocyclic so thank you for watching our video subscribe and hit the like button for more updates and stay updated thank you